Tropical storm Philip dropped heavy rains in the Northeast Caribbean on Tuesday, forcing governments to close schools in the region as forecasters warned of flash flooding. The storm was located about 40 miles, 64 kilometers, northwest of Anguilla on Tuesday morning and had winds of up to 50 miles per hour, 85 kilometers per hour. It was moving northwest at 10 miles per hour, 17 kilometers per hour, according to the National Hurricane Center in Miami. A tropical storm warning was still in effect for Barbuda and Anguilla after Philip made landfall in Barbuda late Monday. A tropical storm watch was in effect for the British Virgin Islands. Forecasters warned that the strongest winds and rains would be felt by islands located south of the storm center as Philip moves north of the Leeward Islands on Tuesday. Officials in the twin island nation of Antigua and Barbuda closed schools and government offices, while those in the French Caribbean territories of Street Martin and Street Barts closed schools. Meanwhile, officials in Guadeloupe said the storm knocked power out to 2,500 customers and left several communities without running water. It also forced two road closures and left one community isolated as crews worked to reopen roads. Philip is expected to turn north-northwest late Tuesday and then take a path north into open waters on Wednesday. Forecasters said between 4 to 8 inches, 10 to 20 centimeters, of rain was expected from Barbuda south to Dominica, and 3 to 5 inches, 8 to 13 centimeters, for the remaining Leeward Islands and the northern Windward Islands. Swells generated by Philip are forecast to affect portions of the Atlantic coasts of the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico over the coming days. These are likely to produce life-threatening surf and rip current conditions. Leeward Islands Air Transport, LI, canceled five flights across the Leeward Islands October 2.
Further flight cancellations are possible as the weather deteriorates. Antigua and Barbuda closed schools October 3, and several public educational institutions are being used as shelters. Sustained heavy rainfall could trigger flooding in low-lying areas and those with easily overwhelmed drainage systems. If weather conditions prove hazardous, localized evacuations, flash flooding, and landslides are possible. The inclement weather could trigger localized business, transport, and utility disruptions, and render some bridges or roadways impassable. Flight disruptions at regional airports and temporary closures of ports are also possible. Stagnant pools of water during and after flooding may increase the incidence of insect and waterborne diseases such as dengue fever, cholera, and malaria. Exposure to raw sewage and other hazardous materials mixed with floodwaters poses a serious health threat. <laughs> 